Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central introductory video. This is lecture 2 of module 5 where we will see how you can sort and filter information in Dynamics 365 Business Central. In previous lecture we have seen how you can search and select information in D365 Business Central. So let us now see how you can sort and filter information in D365 Business Central. So whenever you want to find any data in the list quickly you can do it with the help of sorting and you can also filter the data from the list. The filters returns a subset of record based on the specific criteria that you have chosen. So let me now show you this in action in our trial instance. So by default, the list will be sorted by the first column in ascending manner. So now you can see this posted sales invoice list is sorted with the number field in an ascending manner. So if you want to sort this list with the customer name in descending manner, then you can click here and select the type of sorting. So now you can see it has been sorted with the descending manner. Same thing you can sort with due date as well if you want to perform the sorting. So now this list is sorted. So now it has been sorted in descending manner for due date column and you can perform the sorting in same manner in any list. So let me now show you the same thing in the customers list as well. So by default, it is sorted with the customer number in ascending manner. So let me now sort this list in terms of sales amount in descending manner. So now you can see it has been sorted in descending manner for sales so you can sort any list in the same manner that is present in your Dynamics 365 Business Central. This is how you can sort the information that is displayed in your lists. So another way you can quickly sort a list is by clicking on the column name that you So if you click first time it is going to sort that list with that column in an ascending manner and then if you click second time again it is going to toggle the sorting order now it has sorted in the descending manner. So similarly, you can quickly sort a particular list. So let me now show you how you can apply filters in the list. Now sorting it back to with the number and let me now filter. If you click on this arrow, it will open a drop down menu and here you can click on filter. And here type greater than 500 and click enter then it is going to filter out the result set where the unit cost is greater than 500 and not only that so let us now suppose if you want to filter out the values where the description starts with a so if you type a and then put star here so now it has filtered out all the records which are starting with a similarly you can perform search with substring as well suppose desk star so the moment you type this kind of substep so you can search with a substring as well so let us now consider another scenario where you want to search the data where the unit cost is not zero how you can filter out the data and not equals zero so now you can see it has filtered out all the records where unit cost is not zero so on that note i will wind up this lecture i hope to see you all in the next lecture till then bye bye and take care